what is going on guys welcome back to another video so today is august 17 so about just over 11 weeks after i moved the plants to these uh, bioreactors and i wanted to make an update um so you haven't even really seen the the first video i made back in back in may uh, when i unboxed this uh, but i mean getting a patent can take some time so it's totally totally understandable but anyways the plants have been doing very well um, and it is time to move to to change the media so something that i want to do is i also want to change the jars as the ones i am i've been using are these kind of jelly jars and they have all of this stuff that you can really even see in the plants as well so i really like the size it's like a very compact it works really well but it is uh, quite challenging to to even see in the plants so what I'm going to do is I want to move everything to something like this. So these are eight ounces um, jars, canning jars that are fully smooth. They don't have any writing on it. So this is, I think, the size that I want to move the plants to it. Uh, but the good thing about these systems is that you don't even have, you can use any regular size canning jar. So I have the eight ounces. I have uh, 16 ounces and I have a big one, 32 ounces. So, I mean, you can use pretty much any any regular size messenger, which is pretty good. It's, all right, so the plants have been doing very well. Now, let me give you an update of what we have here. So, let's start off with the, um, with this, this is a Nepenthes Kunkata, and hopefully you can see it there. It's doing, doing very well, uh, the plants are, Propagating, uh, it has put quite, um, some good size since I introduced the plants to here, and it's doing very well. So, I mean, I could potentially leave it here, but like I said, I want to have a better view of the plant, so I just want to move it to the other plants. Uh, next, I have this is um, Heliamphora minor, and you can see it's missing quite some media. I, I had some problems with uh, with leaking. Um, I think it was my fault, I think I didn't fully tie them off completely, so I have uh, some leakage from, from the sides, from the threads, not from, from not from the filter. I had some problems with the filter initially, but that was uh, my bad, where I have them on the, the wrong, the, I had the plants on the wrong jar, so basically that's what happened. But the plants are doing very well, I uh, have a good clump, they're looking very healthy, so I'm pretty happy about them. Um, next we have... Uh, Cephalotus, and this is the plant that is doing, ah, it's doing all right, but you can see it has uh, some dead leaves. So I want to move them and trim all, those, all of those dead leaves. The media looks kind of dirty as well. Uh, there is no contamination, but hopefully with the new media, it's going to do better. And I have Darlington in California, and you have seen my other videos. You already know that I, I can really hold that in Tony and Tisha Coulter. It does very well for me. So here it is. I mean, it is doing very, very well. It has really propagated quite well. Um, it's definitely time to go to a bigger jar. Uh, I think it's, it's running out of space, but it is doing very, very well. I'm very happy, very healthy looking plants. So, all right, so let's get it started and let's make some new media for these plants. guys it is time to move the plants to the bioreactors and the first thing I want to do is move the use the new bioreactors so I have a uh, three new bioreactors and I have three new plants I have a uh, Saracenia Flava Maxima uh, uh, Venus Light Glass uh, Marine Monster and Glossera Madagascarensis so let's get started
So the new bioreactors are done, now I'm going to start transferring the old bioreactors to the new class. So this is going to be a little bit more complicated, I have to be more careful um, as I want to keep the same, the same um, adapter on it. So I have to be careful not to get it contaminated. Okay, so unfortunately I wasn't able to get all of the uh, bioreactors ready. Um, these two doesn't have any gaskets. I don't know what happened if I lost them or they didn't have it to, to, be, to begin with. Uh, anyways, I ordered the new gaskets. They should be here in a couple days. So that's not a big deal. I just want to wait for these two. And I have my jars in here. So they are, I'm ready pretty much. So I have 
five bioreactors. They look very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this electrical tape uh, he sent me and I want to wrap this. Instead of using the parafilm or the serene wrap, I'm going to be using this electrical tape. Let's see how, how I like. All right, so here are the bioreactors. Um, the tape works very well. Uh, I like it, it's a little hard, but I mean, it's electrical tape, so. But this is the Cephalotus media. I, I just changed the media, it already looks cloudy. I don't know what's going on with this. But as long as the plant is happy, um, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't really care. Uh, but I may start another batch. We'll see how this does. Um, hopefully it does well on this media. Um, uh, what else from the old ones? Uh, the Nepenthes truncata, here it is. So, like I say, this is the filter. I slowly move this around. And there are the plants. They look very nice. Hopefully they they can propagate more. Um, I, I mean, I use the, the same media for all these plants. Hopefully they do well for the Nepenthes. Uh, next plant, this is something that really excited. I have a Saracenia flava maxima, and it's a young, young plant, and hopefully, it does well. So, look at that, looks very nice. Hopefully, it starts to propagate. have a um, Venus fly traps uh, this is a maroon monster there it is very nice very nice small plant uh, ho I hope it takes this uh, over these jars very quickly and finally we have a, a sondio we have um, Drosera madagascarensis there it is. Small plant. Like I said, don't go too fast as you want to you want to, to fully drain as quickly as possible. Now all I have to left to do is put the date for today and the name of the plant. So uh, Madagascarensis. Okay, so that's done. All I had to do is wait for my other gaskets to arrive so I can do the other two. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they do well. And I really like these yards. So we'll see. Hope you have enjoyed it and then I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. 
If you're enjoying these Teach You Culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at PlantCellTechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.